and welcome to another video with me and with Everest. We are just about to have some lunch. Ah. Mm. And I figured why not do a video about food and what I'm doing with introducing solids to Everest. So when I wasn't a parent, I always saw baby led weaning on Facebook groups and I assumed that I would do baby led weaning um, as so many of my vegan mom friends do. And um, uh, baby led weaning is when you introduce an array of foods to your infant and allow them to explore that food and make choices with that food. Um, so you don't spoon feed, you don't puree, you're, you could puree like hummus, they could put their hand in hummus and eat it off their fingers, but you get the concept. It's, it's them exploring food, um, and, and, okay, okay, it's them exploring food. So I originally, that was the plan, so I started with that, um, part of that process is that the baby, um, first of all, has to exhibit signs of readiness before you give solids. So sitting up, head control is huge. Being able to sit up, having a grabbing reflex. Um, so those are some of the signs that they'll show that they're ready for food and they're showing interest. Just a moment. Um... So once she was showing those signs, I decided to uh, start putting food in front of her and seeing if she uh, would eat it. And she would try and pick it up with her fingers and it would kind of just all crumble. But she'd get pieces in her mouth and she'd start to gag because the pieces would like lodge, a, uh, not lodge, but go to the back of her throat. So she was gagging um, multiple times every feeding and every meal time. And I really, I just did not enjoy it. Sometimes she'd throw up from the gagging and she clearly was getting food in, but I never knew how much. And I really, that didn't sit well with me personally. So I have nothing against baby led weaning. I still think it's awesome. It just wasn't working for me. Um, so then I thought <coughs> I would do a combination of baby lead weaning and puree food. So I did that for a while, but I just still didn't feel like her eating the food herself was working for us. Um, and so uh, I decided to just go with the purees. So now she's being um, uh, fed purees. And it's working really well for us. Um, she's not choking. She um, is happy. You know, I'm happy. So it's a perfect example of how you can have plans hmm, as a mom, but then they fall through. So, you know, you can, you can say, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to baby wear. I'm going to have, I'm not going to have a stroller. I'm not going to have a change table. I'm, they're going to bed share. They're not, you know, no cribs. But suddenly you're moving your baby to a crib because bed sharing or co-sleeping isn't working for you. And that's okay. Like, don't fixate on these plans because they're an individual and they will tell you what they their plan is and uh, you're not in control at all. So um, what are in her purees? So we make them at home. I'll make one with like avocado and apple or sweet potato, carrot and apple, um, lots of different options. Um, but I also store by store bought. So I buy this Love Child Organic. So Love Child. It's this one's apples, corn, and butternut squash with quinoa. And this is apples, spinach, 
kiwi, and broccoli. So I'll just squirt half a package in her bowl. And then occasionally I will mix in some baby cereal. So this is tasty, smooth, whole grain baby cereal. And um, it's organic and all that. I don't really, I'm not huge on organic, but uh, almost all baby food is organic. Um, um, and I'll still occasionally mix in some of that and um, some breast milk maybe, or I'll mash in some avocado with it. Um, and the baby cereal is another thing I said I'd never feed my baby is baby cereal. But I uh, did some research and found that it's actually uh, good to introduce uh, grains based off of the research that I found online and the science that I found. So, and it's working well for us. So it's the same thing, you know, feed them baby cereal, don't feed them baby cereal. There is no one right decision. Um, baby led weaning, purees, bed sharing, cribs, whatever, take any aspect. There is no one right way. And so this is what we're doing for now. And I'll let you know if it changes, but for now we're going to do fruit and veggie purees with some baby cereal and breast milk. And uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up and have a great day.